Good evening. I'm William Richardson, and welcome to Bill's Den. This evening, I am reviewing Ron Clark's The Essential 55, an award-winning educator's rules for discovering the successful student in every child. Now, Ron Clark writes in his introduction uh, the purpose of his book. He says that this is an attempt, and these rules are an attempt, to give his students an outline or a guide to how life should be lived and appreciated. So he compiled this list of reasons. He says that I have seen a remarkable difference in the way my students have held themselves, performed in school, and had respect for others. And so this is what Ron Clark does. He shares this with us. Ron Clark begins his book uh, first with a list and also an explanation of his 55 rules for students, which I'll touch on a few in just a few moments, as well as a section that offers tips on dealing with children, dealing with parents, and also establishing a system of punishments and rewards. Now, back to the 55 rules, uh, there are two in particular that I'd like to comment on. The first is rule number nine. Clark's rule reads, always say thank you when I give you something. If you don't say it within three seconds after receiving the item, I'll take it back. There's no excuse for not showing appreciation. Well, Mr. Clark follows this rule to the letter. There are absolutely no exceptions with this man. Uh, he recounts a conversation with a teacher teaching one of his former students who shared his experience with rule number nine in Mr. Clark's class. Uh, he, he mentions that one of his students in fifth grade had won a lollipop, but before he could even put it in his mouth, Mr. Clark took it away because he failed to say thank you. And Clark writes, you know, he says, I had to remain consistent. The kids understand that and rarely complain when I had to take things away from them. They knew it was a rule, and I'd stated explicitly the way it worked from day one. Another rule that surprised me one that I never experienced as a, as a student, of course, uh, was uh, rule number 16 and the consequence to rule number 16. Homework will be turned in each day for every subject by every student with absolutely no exceptions. Um, the first offense is detention for one hour after school. Uh, I can honestly say I've never had a teacher who has uh, given that type of a punishment for missing homework one day. Um, in addition, I, I think what's really interesting about Clark's book is that uh, he, he just doesn't come across as this this horrible disciplinarian, he uses humor. Uh, he uses humor with his students, but he also uses humor in his writing of this book. Um, and I think that the best section that shows this man's humor in his light side uh, is on the section dealing with parents. He recounts that uh, he was living in, or he was working in a, in a school district where um, many of the parents were hands off. Uh, they didn't seem very interested in their children's education. So one student who he had a major discipline problem with, um, you know, Mr. Clark spent weeks trying to contact this mother by phone. When he finally got her on the phone and explained who he was, he said, or, or the, the mother said, what has he done now? So he explained to her the discipline problems and the parent basically said, you know, he's in school with you. He does the same thing here. You just deal with him when he's at school. And that was the end of the conversation. And that's, that's unfortunate. And so he realized that, you know, if he was going to have this type of a, a conversation again with another parent, you know, he, he would definitely have to change his strategy. So he did have a, a, another student with a discipline problem. The conversation begins the same way. The parent wants to know what their child had done. And instead of pointing out the child's faults, he instead praises the child to the parent. And of course, this, this, this causes the parent to be completely stunned and caught off guard. So the conversation ends on a positive note. But after a few days pass, Clark calls back. Uh, and says to the same parent that he's having some difficulty with the student who, remember, he praised just a few days before, and the parent is more receptive uh, to working with the teacher to handle the problem. So, 55 rules for each child to follow. It is a lot, but Clark has had great success as an educator. He is an award-winning educator, and uh, and I, I think that the one thing that, that you do walk away with after you read this book is that uh, what it says right here in the, um, in the dust jacket, he says that... Um, uh, He's had great success as an educator um, taking apathetic students in some of the country's most challenging areas and transforming them into award-winning scholars. And I think that the 55 rules are uh, a really good foundation for any person beginning the education field to start with. Thank you.